lost several engines and we've lost attitude control of the vehicle. Something must have exploded. Oh yeah, that is debris. SpaceX has lost another Starship rocket during a test flight. Here you can see the exploding debris caught on camera by someone who saw it happen. The company confirming the Starship broke apart and that it's taking measures to track what is left of this rocket. The explosion was spotted from the east coast to the Gulf and temporarily grounded flights at several airports. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. It also forced two planes heading to Miami to land at Tampa International Airport. And that's where we find News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers. And Nicole, a third flight impacted by this incident departed from TPA and then got diverted back, I understand. Keith Jen, that's correct. So that flight was actually on its way to San Juan when it had to turn around, head back here to TPA. Then those passengers had to wait a little bit over an hour. At this point, they are all headed back to Puerto Rico. Those two other flights, one from Cincinnati, the other from Nashville, got diverted. They were heading to Miami, ended up stopping here at TPA. They are all now in the air, headed back to their original locations. You can tell right here behind me, TPA is running back to normal, but nevertheless, a lot of people in our area noticing that fiery ball in the sky, wondering what happened. What the heck is that? People across the Tampa Bay area took their eyes to the sky Thursday evening. On the Kissimmee River, look. Outside of the gorgeous sunset, News Channel 8 viewers sent in videos showcasing what looked like a fireball in the sky, wondering what was going on. It's like a planet or a space station or a comet or... No. Yes. No. It is. Honest to God. It's got a trail on it. The explosion scene from the Tampa Bay area appeared to be related to SpaceX's failed Starship launch. We got a glimpse into what happened from the company's live stream, showing the moment things began to go south. We just saw some engines go out. It looks like we are losing attitude control of the ship. SpaceX flight commentator Dan Hewitt recapped what went wrong and how that led to people in our area seeing what looked like that fireball in the sky. We were only about 20 seconds away or so from the end of that ship ascent burn. We saw several of the engines start to cut out. Uh, once you lose enough of those center engines, you're going to lose attitude control. And so we did see the ship start to go into a spin. SpaceX officials say they then lost contact with the ship, but plan to use Thursday's failed launch as a lesson moving forward. Obviously a lot to go through, a lot to dig through. We're going to go right at it. The primary reason we do these flight tests is to learn. We have some more to learn about this vehicle, but we're going to be right back here in the not too distant future, and we're going to get a ship to space. And again, back here at Tampa International Airport, things are back to normal here and all three of the flights that were affected that ended up here at TPA now in the air on the way to their original destinations. Live in Tampa, Nicole Rogers, eight on your side. Thank you, Nicole. And many of you sent pictures of what happened tonight. Uh, whenever you see news breaking, a reminder that you can share it with us on WFLA.com slash report it. You can also scan the QR code on your screen to reach that link.